Hi. I'm moody. I'm feeling moody. And it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waning gibbous moon under the astrological sign of Leo. This reading is for... Uh, who's this for now? I just did... Let me just see. Okay. Aries. Mm. My Aries, Holy Spirit. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Holy Spirit. Angel, Thy Spirit. God, that's a lot of messages. So, of course, I'm picking these up and we're going to do this again. Oh, Spirit said, take the last two. Ooh. I don't know. It's like somebody has their panties or their boxers in a bunch because things are not going according to plan. There's a delay. Spirit says lighten up and continue to be productive. Okay. Hmm. Aries, I don't know. Yeah. A delay is not a no. He's telling you, yeah, continue to be productive. Um, go around whatever the blockage is, whatever the delay is, don't stop. And also lighten up. Yes, that's what he's, he's saying, lighten up. Um. Look at this from a different perspective. You're way too serious. Could it involve a Leo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn with you? Maybe you're just too serious. Maybe something's not going to, as planned with them when it comes to love. This is a love brief, a general love brief for Aries. Yeah, I, I feel like something is not going according to plan, happening as quickly as somebody wants it to happen. So there's almost a feeling of giving up because it's it hasn't manifested. Somebody's been working on something and it hasn't come to fruition. They're a little frustrated. There's like a funk or something and Spirit's like, lighten up. You're way too serious here. Okay, what is this about? It's about time. Two cards of timing. Exactly. That's what I was feeling. Things are not going according to plan. Like somebody had a stopwatch. I got to do this by this time. This has to happen by then in order for that to happen. And da, 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 da. That's what I feel. That's what I feel. And, and they're all, they are like overthinking this to the 10th degree. <laughs> Keeping them up at night. Oh my goodness. The Eight of Swords. Whew. Yeah. Okay. Nothing's going to happen until somebody sees something clearly. They get honest. Communication comes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, they're being told to like keep the focus on you until whatever it is you're manifesting appears. You know, and don't uh, overthink. Don't take anything too seriously. Mm. Everything works on God's time. First of all, his time is not our time. I'll tell you that right off. You know, we could think one year is sufficient and it's, you're going on the 10th year. And you're all in your head. How much longer, God? How much more loss, rejection, woundedness do I have to endure? Somebody's saying that. Wow. 
Yeah, there's a blockage here, like, and it does involve loss, a sadness, the Five of Pentacles. Somebody walked out. They walked out. They left in the night. They left you in the cold. They left you when you needed them most. Somebody left. What? Yes. Okay, spirit. Yeah, somebody is dealing with the separation right now, spirit. Hmm. They feel very lost, very... Hmm. When is it going to change? When is it going to be my turn? When is something good going to happen for me? Hmm. It's all about time. Somebody wants to know when, when, when. Because there's just delays and blockages and everything is here to prevent me from getting to what I want. And you're saying go around, but, you know, I can't even see the path. Because you're all in your thoughts. So you, you need a new perspective. This is about... Clarity. Clarity comes from you taking action. That's why Spirit says continue to be productive until you get what you want, until you're able to see ahead. And to lighten up, you know, sometimes we get so serious, um, so weighed down with worries and concern for no reason. In order to see the truth, right, we have to be honest with what we communicate to ourselves. Yes. And when things aren't materializing, you got to give it more time. And while you're giving it more time, continue to be productive, lighthearted, um, happy, vibrate high. You know, don't let this get you down. Things are going to change. A channel is going to open up. A door is going to open. A window. Something's going to open. Okay, spirit. Yeah. Mm. Waiting teaches us perseverance. It teaches us to be persistent. Not to give up. Okay, Moody. Yeah, that's what spirit is telling me. Why he makes me wait all the time. Okay. Time. Like, how much more time? I hear somebody say, how much more time? <sighs> Do I have to wait? Okay, tell us. What's going on here, Spirit? How much more loss? Hmm. Hmm. Aries, Spirit is saying when it comes to love, somebody has to make better choices, healthier choices, clearer choices, choices that reflect where the change in them. Mm. Somebody hasn't, somebody's still healing. Somebody's still dealing with self-discovery of loving their self in preparation for finding that person. That's why time is of the essence. That's why, you know, maybe in 2024, it happens in fall of 2024. That's when the love comes in. That's when you receive your harvest. Maybe things start. It could be in the spring too. Things start in the spring and then they really develop into what you manifest when it comes to love. There's something with time and that's the one element, you know. <laughs> I see the seven of pentacles, which is... You know, you have invested a lot. You're willing to invest a lot in love, putting in the work. You're like ready. You've grown. You've grown. And Spirit just said, talk about time. You needed that time to grow, to heal, to heal after being rejected, to heal after somebody that you love left, left you. Mm. That's why it's so important for self-discovery, you to rebuild 
your definition of love, understand a new language of love, one that requires somebody to come in who's reciprocal, who's aligned with you, who's willing to work with you to compromise. Yes, Spirit wants you to make the right choice. You have some choices coming up in January. There's some options when it comes to love. People that will stir your emotions. He wants to see how you're going to act. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's a lesson here with the Princess of Swords. Still, he wants to see how you're going to react. Tell me more. Yeah, Princess of Cups, when something new begins, all this cup, yeah, your emotions mm, come out of thinking about love and put forward the actions to express love. He, he wants to see, wow, the choices you make. Oh, somebody, you know, and if you have somebody coming to you, Aries, it could be a Scorpio Cancer Pisces, it could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, Leo, Aries, or Sag. All of the signs are here. So, whoever is coming towards you, <laughs> yeah, this is uh, January's emotional. It starts off with you get getting yourself together, um, being happier, lighter, uh, radiating, uh, feeling happier, regardless, knowing that what you want is coming, regardless of if you don't see it yet. Mm. Because January is going to start with choices, with you making emotional choices when it comes to love, making choices even in terms of friendships. There's a lot of choices. There's a lot of emotions being exhibited in January because you have choices, which makes it difficult. <sighs> yeah, wow. In the past, maybe there's something you didn't see when it came to love. I do feel like spirit is giving time for healing when it comes to love. Um... For something new, for a truth, for the way that you express love, for you to discover something about yourself with the Ace of Cups. Mm. Yeah. The timing, the timing's not right when it, com it comes to something new in love because you need more time to heal. Somebody needs more time to heal. You know, and and you can't, and they can't, nobody can. Nobody can get into a successful relationship until both parties are healed. I mean, it's not going to work. If you're not healed, that means you're bringing all of that luggage from the, the previous relationship into a new relationship. So already it's not reciprocal. You know, somebody is heavier. Somebody is still weighed down. So the seesaw, somebody's up here vibrating high, right? Somebody's up here vibrating high. And the others down here weighed down with all of that unhealed emotional stuff. A lot of emotions here. That's why the sun is reverse. Queen of Cups. This is, a again, a Leo or a... Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces? Leave me a, a comment. Tell me. Mm. But it doesn't mean... It just is kind of explaining why it's taking so long. All of this time. Uh, you open up waiting. Why? That is making you think maybe you'll never get it. But Spirit says, yeah, it's taking time because there needs to be healing. Either you or them. That's what's causing the delay. Mm. Somebody needs to get their confidence back. They are dealing with some feelings of unworthiness. They're dealing with understanding their value. And some are, are need to come out of their thoughts and take action. You know, Capricorn's all about action handling their business, getting to work. Uh, and Leo, you know, is about 
truth and expression, the sun being enlightened, right? Having the courage and the strength to step out, take action. Yes. And through it all, have fun, lighten up. Don't be so serious. And definitely don't pick up any new baggage. <laughs> okay. All right, final messages here when it comes to love spirit. What do you want to say to Leo regarding self-love? You know, I, that's very improve, important. So whoever needs the healing the most, Aries, you know, needs the courage and the confidence to stay by their self until they have resolved and healed their emotions. Yeah, that's what this is about. Then they'll be able to think clearly. They'll know what they want when it comes to love. They'll com communicate it in word and action. With the Ace of Air, yes. What else, Spirit? Tell me. Mm -hmm. And you know something, Aries, with the new year, and I was thinking of this too, feeling it so deeply that we need to clean our space in preparation of something new coming into that space, welcoming it, right? Spirit's telling you to do that. Clean your space, clear your space, clear your energy. Didn't I just say that? Mental clarity with the ace of air. Yeah, I see you looking so good at the end of January when it comes to love because you are going with the flow and paying attention to you, what you want, what matters to you, what kind of love you want. And that's what you're prepared to attract. Look at that, that your cup is radiating that. You, you come into that knowledge, you take it, and you run with it. Yes. Touchdown. Aries. What else? Mm. Okay. Yeah, and you know what? After you clean your space, fill it with aromas. Uh, your favorite aroma. Maybe some lavender. Healing aromas, too. Very important. Um, as you're bringing in the new year, you want to bring it in in a clean, clear space. Mental clarity is very important. Uh, clarity, you know, uh, mental, physical, spiritual. Yes. Clean your area, your space, your house, and then fill it with lovely healing aromas. Okay. So, um, love. All right. Let's see. Where is my, here they are, romance angel. Final card. One card, spirit. One card, Aries. Two cards. All right, I'll take them. Mm. So, you do obtain some clarity and... I think that the time does come next year. It definitely comes either in the spring or autumn or in between spring and fall. You got summer in there, you know, three seasons, 75% of the year, right? That's all I can say. But look, your love life ascends to a higher level. Why? Because you've ascended. When I see the Ace of Cups here and you don't really have love yet, but all of this preparation, it's like you, you're cleaning house in preparation for love. Yeah, something new. And that's what causes your love life to ascend. And then, bam, the Ace of Cups causes you to radiate and attract. Somebody catches your attention and one of you actually take the lead okay Aries that's why the Empress here 
somebody's assertive somebody takes the lead and actually shows an expression and didn't you have this at the center they allow you to see how they're feeling they get honest you know i like a direct person a, an assertive person especially when it comes to love who wants to play some games no not you aries look it you get love and <laughs> next year for sure but it starts in january every i think january gets the ball rolling because in terms of time you have two balls here one that has the future in the future this goes into the future yes it leads into the future so whatever's going on in love starts in january and it goes into the future by autumn you'll see some signs of your harvest it will be coming in and you your love life is going to rise and somebody is going to capture your attention that's what i see if you are able to identify with what I've said, then like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment, Aries. I'm praying for this. I'm praying for January to start the ball rolling. And for love to come to you in divine time, the right time, for you to open up your emotions and have your energy clear, your home clear, your mind clear. Yeah, be healed, totally healed, and also be able to recognize if they're not healed, right? <laughs> but, and do what you have to do in this relationship for it to be a success. Because I think that, mm, yeah, what is this? Your love life is definitely ascending. This is how it ends. And somebody makes a gesture that gets your attention, Aries, and that is when you come into the harvest. I mean, or somebody, uh, maybe, you know, you come into the harvest in spring and by autumn, you are committed. You two are committed. I don't know. Leave me a comment. You're going to have to come back to me on this one. But uh, until the next moon phase, I'm going to pray this i'm gonna pray for an ascension in your love life for things to change for the harvest to come in for it finally to be divine timing right on time all right aries let's pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power the glory forever amen thank you for staying with me till the end thank you for all your support too over the year please like hit that notification bell until the next moon phase namaste